In this tutorial, we will cover why your count function might not be working the way you expect it to. We will cover two examples. The first one is relatively easy, and then we'll move on to something that may catch you up in the future that is a little more complex. Let's get cracking. Take a look at this text list, and we want to get a count of this list. Now on column B, we've just got a count from one through to 15, just so you know uh, what the count should be. Okay, so, if you're very new to Google Sheets, you might try and put in something like this equals count and open the brackets and then select this range. And you might want to select it all the way to the bottom. So we can do that by just saying uh, backspace, backspace, and have a look up the top here in the function bar. And we might uh, just leave that open like that. So it'll take everything all the way to the bottom of the sheet. And if we close it, and you can see the hint already, it's coming up with zero. So what's going on? So if we click back on the function here, you can see that the count returns the number of numeric values in a data set. It doesn't return any values that are letters or characters. So to do that, we can actually use a different function called count a. So let's click on this and delete this again. And let's go equals this time and type in count a. And you can see the hint here, it says the number of values in a data set. So it could be anything, it could be a number or it could be a letter in this case. So let's open up the brackets and we'll just hide that for now. And let's select this range again to scroll down a bit and I'll hit backslash to open it up all the way down to the bottom. And so we've got C2 to C and close the brackets and hit enter. And as you can see now, our total count is 15. And as we've got a little hint guide in column B, it says there should be 15 values. We've got it correct. Cool. All right, let's move on to our next example. I'll hide that and open up the next one. In this example, we have a list of names and in column K, we've joined the first and last name. So maybe you want to do a count of the name as a whole. Your first instinct might be, okay, let's do the count A again. So count A, because that's getting numbers and characters, right? So it's a good guess. So let's now select K2 and just drag down and backslash to open it up and Let's uh, close the brackets and hit enter. This time around, it says 18. That's a bit weird. We know this should only be, have been a count of 10. So what's going on? So if you usually create templates, so what I mean here is you might be adding in data in the future or changing your data set, and you put in a formula in column K and just dragged it all the way down to the bottom. What this count is doing is actually reading the total number of formulas in that column. So let's have a look at column A. And you can see I've got this if statement here. So if J2 here is equal to empty, then keep this K empty. Otherwise, join these two values together. So this might stop any errors in future occurring in column K, essentially creating a template. Now I've dragged down this value here all the way down for 18 columns. So it should be, if I click down to K19 here, you can still see the formula. And because there's nothing there, it's generating nothing. If I scroll down a little bit more, you can see it stops after row two. All right, so how do we fix this issue here? We need to get a little bit more complicated in solving this count problem. First, we'll delete this. So one option that we have is to create a list of all these values that have a character in it that's more than one. So this one has zero characters. This one has the total number of characters here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 characters in this. So what we can do there is use the length formula. So let's start small and build this formula out. So let's go equals and then type in length, L-E-N, open up our brackets. And here it's just asking us for a text. If I click on this text it will and close the brackets, it says it has a length of 15. So there are 15 characters from this A for Aiden all the way to the R at the end of Gallagher. This is okay so far, but it's not taking into account all the other users. We can't put in a range just yet like this in our length. So it only does one cell at a time in this current structure. So let me show you. If I do this and type in K, and then it gives us the entire range, I hit enter. So you can see it comes up with an error. But what we can actually use is something called an array formula. And an array formula allows us to use formulas that just impact one cell or one set of ranges, and we can use them over a number of ranges. So let's now 
encapsulate this length or length function inside an array function. So we can say array formula and open up the brackets and close the brackets around the lang, lang or length function and hit enter. Now we've got a nice long list of everything by length. So this is starting from here K2. So it's offset by one here. So if you're getting confused with this Jordan Robbins, that's 14. Uh, Ritu Arya, that's nine, okay? So we don't want this either. So what we can do though, is from this is create a count if function. So now if I type in count if and put that in brackets and hit comma now. So count if takes a range, which is the range that we just created with our length and it takes a criterion. So our criterion is any, any value or length greater than zero is accepted. And let's just have a look down how the formula works. So we need to put it inside two inverted commas. So let's do that first. So we'll put inverted commas here and we'll say greater than and zero. So it's not gonna include zero, but it'll be anything greater than zero. Close those inverted commas and close the brackets and hit enter. Now we have our total count of 10. So just to summarize this one, because it is a little tricky. So first we did the length. So we got the length of characters in each cell and we did that inside an array formula so we could use length on each row in this column. And that generated a list of numbers. So the total number of characters in this cell, the total number of characters in this cell and so on, all the way down column K. And that created a list of numbers. And then we wanted to do a, do a count if on them to show or count any number that was greater than zero. And that gave us the correct count if. Okay, so that's two common occurrences or when count doesn't work the way you expect it. I'll catch you in another tutorial.